Alrighty, so Masters, A, B, C, D, and won't carry. This is best ADCs to carry in, to carry yourself to Masters. So here we go. I think Cherno is actually one of the best. Apollo's A tier. I think Hachi's Masters. I don't know about that, Gazan. I don't think you can carry. I don't think you can carry with all hunters. I think there's specific hunters that are really good. I think Soul is like an A. She has ins insane pressure, but she falls off pretty hard. I think. I think Hachi. I think Hachi is definitely up there. Obviously, his enhanced autos. Cherno, global rotation. I think on her is Masters as well. I think his kit has such insane self-peel. Plus, he does insane damage. Plus, he can be aggressive and self-peel. I think Scotty's probably like C-tier, yeah? She she doesn't really hyper-carry in any aspect. Even with Crusher and Heartseeker both being buffed, I still I still don't see her carrying you, carrying you through Masters. I think Neith is a little bit better with her buffs. Um, her CDs were nerfed, I mean buffed pretty hard. Her one, which is really good because that's the biggest part of her kit. And the two, and Heartseeker and Crusher uh, buffs. So I think Neith is actually in a much better spot than she was before. I think Olo is an A because I feel like a lot of... Uh, he, he could be S or our Masters, but the problem with him is that there's so many... All the good characters that are strong right now are like Jorm... All, you know, Marty, it's all these characters that are just untargetable, so your ult has low value. Um, but outside of that, if you're able to get a good ult run game where his ult has high value, I think he's in a really good spot. I think Chiron is uh, an A tier now, man. He, he, all the buffs for Crusher and Heartseeker both help him out a lot. Um, I think ability based, like Chiron is one of the best ability based hunters in the game. And not only that, he's safe. Not only that, he's, he has long range damage. Not only that, but I thought he was pretty weak for a while, but with a big with um, because I think ability base was kind of dead. I think if you watch my last mid uh, mid tier list, I was talking about the fact that Chiron just gets cooked because of the auras, the tank aura just sitting in the back. So he, although he, like I said, he has long range damage. The problem with that is that auras start, auras have high value when he when you have long range damage like that and predictive damage, right? Because his damage is pretty predictable. So Shell ends up getting a lot of value. But like I said, with Crusher, Heartseeker getting buffed. Um, I think Chiron's in a pretty decent spot right now. I think Chronos is always and will always be the one of the best hunters in the game to carry yourself to Masters. Um, have you guys seen my Bronze to Masters in Season 9? I got to Bronze from Bronze to Masters in one stream. Chronos was one of my most played. I'll throw in a little fun one here. I think XL ADC is actually nuts. It, insane lane pressure, really good damage, good sustain. Because Scotty, Scotty just doesn't carry carry to Masters. She just doesn't. You can do set ADC too. Set's broken, so you can do whatever you want. Um, I still think Uller is not that good. I, I, I think Chiron is just better. I think Uller just doesn't scale. Like, he needs six slots to kill. That's so long. And even when you have six slots, you can't incorporate a Blood Forge. So, which is what he needs to, like, push through fights really hard. So, like, he, he's, like, pretty mid, I think. He, he literally is weak early. He's weak mid, and he's average late. So imagine. So when do you spike? What's the point of picking older? Uh, let's continue with the ADC tier. This is crazy to put such a one of the best hunters ever made here. I just feel sad, but it's the truth. Yo, Dusa jumped up, bro. Ju Dusa jumped up hard. Dusa is so strong right now. Uh, they just nerfed Uller's base damage and scaling really hard and mana. Like over the years, over the last like two years. Artemis, I think, is more like a B or C. I think I'll say B. She can carry, but the problem with her is you don't, you don't, you, you need your team, right? You need a Geb, you need a Kepper, you need someone to protect, you need a frontline. I think these other characters don't even need a frontline. They can just kill people because I think Artemis needs frontline. To really just kill everyone. Let's keep rolling with the tier list. AMC, I think AMC might be better now. Might be he's still too gankable and not very strong, I feel. Maybe we start seeing more AMC with the Crusher Jones. I mean Crusher Heartseeker buffs, but we'll see. I I'll put him at B. I don't know. I think he's actually worse than these. It's crazy to think that he's worse than Neath at this point, but I feel like he is. 
He doesn't do anything better than Neath. Marty's just a better AMC? Correct. Correcto mundo. All right, let's continue with the ADC tier list. CERN, I think CERN, I think CERN is like, like he can carry. On her, so hard to play mechanically though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're just you just gotta you just gotta be good, you know. I'm just assuming you're good if you're looking at this tier list. I mean, I'm I'm kidding with that, but realistically, this this tier list is to carry yourself to master. So if you have the untapped potential to play on her, you should because he will carry. I skipped Isa. I'm sorry. Um, I think Isa is. <laughs> I think she stands here. She's not S tier. I mean, she's like she gives you guaranteed pressure, which will help you with, get MMR. But the problem with that, I mean, I, I feel like her gank is kind of easy. Like ganking her is kind of easy. She's kind of one dimensional. I feel. Yeah, there's no way I'm putting her in master. She's a. She's good pressure. You can you can snowball that into you know a good lead. Then it's up to you to just pop off after. I think Cherry is trash. Like I literally think she's worse than these two characters. Cherry, Cherry's the only thing Cherry's good at is living. She does no damn. She doesn't do anything else. But what's the point of living if you don't do anything else? You're just a decoy hunter. I mean, what 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 is what does she do good? What's up, Iron? I'm doing an ADC tier list. Let's continue. She doesn't do anything good other than living. Forty prop reduction, pretty good for OBJs. I feel like I feel like you're we're digging deep here. I feel like we're we're pulling we're pulling. I feel like we're we're, we're pushing there. I think Cupid is about a B. He doesn't really do anything better. Like he, it just depends how good the cripple is. Like, if the cripples has high value, Cupid's good, but that means you're an ult. You're an ult bot. And his damage is as is okay. His three gives him an extra AA speed. He's, he's whatever. He's average to carry yourself to Masters. It just has to be a really good game. I think Freya is... Uh, I think Freya is Masters if you know how to Freya. You can definitely carry super hard. Freya's definitely in a great spot right now. Really good damage. Um, I think Haim is actually pretty damn good. I think he's A tier. I don't know. He doesn't hyper carry like these guys, but he he survives lane. He's pretty aggressive. He's good versus invis. He he's good versus dive. He's really good versus dive. You know, knock up immunity. His ult. His three. He's good. I think he's pretty damn solid. I think Hui is absolutely cheeks. Um, I think he's either, he, he's actually C, he's, dude, it's crazy to see these hunters that are worse than Neath. Isn't that crazy to see? I think Ishtar is booty too. I feel like Ishtar is auto attacks and a four. I think she fell off so hard. Definitely probably beats here. Ishtar, yeah, she's just a four button. She's a four button and left clicks. That's what she is. Yeah, she's definitely better than these three, though. Yeah, her one doesn't even... It just, it's just clear, right? It's just like you probably win the first couple waves because of it. That's it. I think Jingwei is about an A. I think she's good for hybrid carrying. You get to your item spikes. You're a safe hunter with a steroid. I think she's good. I think Kronos, you can go... You, you hybrid between you hybrid yourself between attack speed and power. Jing is B. But why? She's so safe. Strong laner. Good late game. She scales. Definitely, I don't think she's B. I'd, I'd prefer to have a Jingwei over an Ishtar or an, or an Uller or a Neath. I know I have late game potential. I know I have a safe laner.
Let's keep rolling with the hunters. If I miss one, let me know, chat. Because there's just so many characters. Rama. I think Rama is probably like an A tier. He's just safe. He has good damage. He has good clear. Rama, Rama will always be like either Masters or A for the rest of his life until they like cook his shit. You'd have to nerf something about him. All right, let's continue. Uh, where's Danza? I didn't see that little raccoon. Am I crazy? Where is where's this little raccoon? Next to Daji. Oh, right here. Um, I think Danza. Honestly, I think Danza could could cook. I don't like Jing right now. No, I feel you. I I don't I don't think she's good, but I definitely think she's better than Ishtar. And Uller and Neath. This is to carry yourself to masters. So like I think Jing is just is just good to like you farm, and then you scale. You you outscale these guys for sure. Uller's average. Uller, Uller has no spike. Uller's weak. Uller, Uller's weak early. Uller's weak early. He, he even with bluestone, the bluestone doesn't carry him. His his base damage on his one and three are fucking horrible. His mana, like it feels bad to one three, because the mana is is not even sufficient. When you one three, it's not even worth the mana that you invested at level one, level two, level three. Meaning your early game is garbage, right? And Ishtar outclears you. Ishtar Danza outclears you. Like, there's so many characters. You don't even have the mana sustained to kill. Finally, when you get trans, it doesn't even matter because you have no CD. You're just stacking. So you still can't fight. Then you get Joins. By that time, this guy already has stacked gloves and, and an auto attack. So if you don't hit every axe, 3-1 combo, which even if you do, he'll just lifesteal off the wave. Then you get... Then you get... Uh, after Joins, you can go Hydras or Crusher. I'd probably go Crusher now uh, with the buffs. Then you finally can fight a little bit. You do good, decent ability-based damage, and it's decent. It's just Crusher proc, a bit of Crusher proc, and it's decent damage. Then, after Crusher, you can go Heartseeker or whatever you want. At Heartseeker, you you're, you're finally can hit Frontline. So this literally five items, and you still haven't been able to hit Frontline. Finally, after Heartseeker, you can finally axe a Frontline and do something. And even then, your Heartseeker, because of the item spikes that you've been going, you don't even have enough power to uh that that the heart seeker scaling that well it's still scaling pretty you, you're barely scaling i think you just hit like 160 or 170 power at that point and then even after that then you can't go blood forge right because you need titan's bane at that point because you only have 20 percent pen and since you're a full ability based hunter at this point with bluestone you need titans you can't go blood forge or you can't go any other item that would help you s snowball the fights then you finally get Titans and Bluestone, and finally you are strong. Finally, you can kill multiple people. So you're six slots to, to, so you can kill multiple people. That's a, B, that's a B to me. Uller is as good as a player. I, won't, I, I promise you I'll miss, I'll miss like 10 or 20% of the abilities. Uh, it's still not good. Phil not, Hydra's, Crusher, and Heartseeker. But then why are you putting trans? So you're saying trans, fail not. So no Joins. So you lack CD. So you're not even an ability-based ability base hunter at that point. You have no CD. So your ability is hit for shit and now you have no CD. Does he carry when he has six slots? I mean, he doesn't carry like these guys, but he can carry with six slots. Fail not. So you're going trans, fail not. Trans fail not. No, fail not passive is ass with Uller, for one. Two, you're going to try trading a hunter with Devos, Devos and probably Dominance or Exe with Trans and fail not. Zero sustain. You're going to try left clicking versus that guy. You better hit the axe. So at that point, I still, I probably, I'd want Jones over that. I'd want Jones over that for sure. Because you're try what's the point of the crit? It's to trade left clicks, but you can't trade left clicks because you don't have sustain because you need trans. 
I don't know, bro. We're reaching. You guys can keep reaching, though. I respect it. You guys are acting like I'm not like like I I, I fucking jerk to this character. This is my one of my favorite characters. He's just not good. You build filling out for the stats, not the passive. So pretty much, so you're building an item for zero passive. Meaning, if you one v one the other ha hunter that is taking advantage of a passive, you're gonna lose. If he, if the other hunter has gloves and dominance, you're cooked. You're like you can't left click. You have to hit the axe and then you can't fight. Jones doesn't have a passive. No, but it, it's a it's a shorter it's a quicker spike. It's a quicker spike and it adds to, to the spike of the trans. Yeah, it has glyph, so it's better late game. I don't think Phil Knot's worth it on Uller. I think just play a different character. Okay, well we went off on Uller, so we gotta go back back on track for this. Oh, wow, that's all the hunters. Yeah, they're so little hunters. Where's Marty? Oh, lol. Yeah, Marty's broken. Unfortunate. Uh, oh, where's X-Ball? True. I mean, Marty, I don't have to explain anything else besides that. Um, X-Ball. I think X-Ball is like a C, C or B. I like, I like B. I like B. I like B for him. Maybe even A, honestly. I, I heard Zap hate on him and say he's garbage. I think it's clear it is garbage, but his scaling is good. His scaling is really good. X ball is better than Jing, but they're, they're they're both they're both they're just scale. They're they're just left clickers at scale and are have other features to the right. Jing Wei is super safe with their ult. X ball is a good team fighter with his ult. That, that's why they stand here because they scale. They scale with their left clicks, right? His passive and his one both amp his autos, so he scales. But and Jing scales obviously because there were two build up and her and her ult. In general. Yeah, X Ball is less safe but better team fight. That's for sure. So it's just a trade. It's just a trade. Yeah, Jing passive helps you in lane. That's why these characters are definitely still up here to carry. Hope you and guys hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. I'm gonna surf this one more time, see if there's anything that you guys might wanna maybe set ADC. Some of you guys wanna play that. I mean set's always broken, so just put them at the S tier and fucking every character. Baka ADC, I think it's bad, but you can, if you want to try. I don't even see that little bugger. Solo tier list next? Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. I have solo and support left. Carry yourself to masters. All right, this is my tier list. I'm going to make sure this is cleaned up. I think this is fair. I think... Honestly, Scotty might be okay with the buffs. They helped her out a bit. Zeus ADC, I think it's Mimage. Make another section for Marty? <laughs> Probably. Vulcan? Vulcan could be okay. I think Vulcan's like a C or B. You, I guess you could drop Jing Wei if you like. But she does scale, though. Like She's still one of the best hunters, like... Regardless of how you put it. The only thing is, can she get to lane? So you ask yourself, does she scale? Does her kit scale? That's yes. So now you ask yourself, can, does her, can you get to that point safely? Yes. Can you get there without losing farm? And being super behind? Yes. Is she a good kins builder? Yes. She can also go crit. I mean, that character is just bloated. She may not be the top, but she's still bloated in my opinion. Loki ADC, I mean, you could decoy waves for the rest of the game. Yeah, Dusa is top tier. Dusa is top tier for sure right now. Her damage is very strong, but she still has the same Dusa problems, right? Like, she still has like, okay, I, my dash gets caught. I'm not a character, right? That's always will be a Dusa problem. But her damage is sufficient to make up for that, you know, negative. In my opinion. Like, her damage is real high right now. I actually went a Medusa game recently. Hope you guys enjoyed the tier list. Thanks for watching. It'll be on YouTube, guys.